Hey guys, welcome to the LHD YouTube channel. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to style a textured quiff, okay? Now, this has gone down to a low one on the back and sides, and as you can see, there's quite a lot of length left on the front, but it graduates from shorter to longer through the back as well. All right, so if you've got something like this, I'm gonna show you how to style it with our number seven creation clay. Now, this for me, is an all-rounder if you love that matte finish okay so what this will let me do is give you pliability it'll give you hold i think for me personally the way it washes out it's just like that like you've got nothing in your hair but it holds up if you get a little bit of rain on it as well so as long as you don't touch your hair it will reform back again okay so what you want to do is a five pence piece size or if you're watching this in a different country i would say maybe like a peanut size amount okay so something like that maybe the tip of your finger or whatever works for you now work it through all over your hands now rub it through your fingers as well because you're working through the hair like a shampoo okay that's the best way to apply it nicely dried or even if it's maybe slightly damp or towel dried whichever look you want to prefer to go for but i always prefer dry now once you rub it through it goes see through and you apply it into the hair now i always go from the crown to the front. We don't want to put a lot of product in the front straight away. The hold, as you can see, it's already there from the cut. I blow dried it a little bit in number one as well, so you can watch that video to see how I blow dried this hairstyle using our number one texture soft spray. But as you can see, the lift is already there. You just want to try and sort of hold this look a little bit longer. Now, from the crown to the front, I apply it like a shampoo. So you rub it all the way into the hair. It kind of looks like I'm beating them up a little bit, doesn't it? But you want to be a bit vigorous, all right, to get that product right. Right, so once you've applied the product, you should see it's a bit crazy. It's not really in a style. You're not using it, or you're not going to wear it like this. But what you want to do now is then style it, okay? So once you've put all the product in, then it's time to style. So I always say, and I've said this in one of our previous videos, is you want to try and style, this pro style your hair in a different room if it's possible, okay? So say for example, you leave your product in the bathroom, you style your hair in your bedroom. As you're walking from the bathroom to your bedroom, rub the product through your hair, okay? That way you're applying it without looking in the mirror. You're not gonna be picking the bits that you like. I mean, I mean, we're all guilty of it, but we're not picking the bits that you like. You're applying the product so it gives a hold, it gives the pliability you're looking for, and it also gives the matte finish all over the hair, not just in certain areas, okay? So when it comes to styling it, I always bring it from the back to the front, just run my fingers like this. Just running them all the way through, and then I just kind of pinch through the front. And then twist and pull little bits, and again, a good little tip, the faster you do it, the more messy it'll look. Now that's, that's a fact, right? So you just pick little bits out, like so. And for me, that's how I would like to wear his hair today, like that. That guys is the finished look using number seven creation clay as you can see it's completely matte you can see this product in there it doesn't look wet or shiny and that's the finish you will get for a messy textured quiff hairstyle 